Okay, right, we're recording Tuesday night circuits. If you're not on mute, pop yourself on mute. So Charlie, just get yourself muted. Get rid of you locked down the side. Let's close that down. Right, okay, so everyone who seems to have done a hard run today. So we've got a little bit of plyometric work in here tonight. So just work at the level you need to work at. And if you're a bit sore, then don't overdo it. We've got warm up section to get mobilized. All right, hold on, Gail's, oh, are you on, on mute, Gail? Uh, warm up section, mobilization. We're going to do a bit of a cardio section just to get heart rates up. Then block two will be some more static exercises, 40 seconds on, 10 seconds off, repeating through twice. So you've got five exercises. You've got squats, press ups, forward lunge dips, uh, press up position rows, reverse lunge to bicep curls. And we're going to repeat that through twice. And then the third block is a bit more plyometric. So I'll explain that when we get to it. So if we can all start the clock, get that going. Just start mobilizing, marching on the spot, get yourselves moving. I can feel my hamstrings already, just picking my knees up. So very light jog, Let's just get the feet moving, keep your posture up right. You've had a bit of a cool down after your run, you're going to just need to get everything up and running again. Just keep jogging it out. Hopefully everyone can see me. Okay, nice and light through the feet. Chest open, head over the spine. Just keep your body moving, take the legs wide. And back in and wide and in. Just flip the heels to the bum, just light, not too explosive. Just loosen off the knees and then up. Too many back to the bum and then take it down again. Take some deep breaths in. And then just walk the feet wide. Let's just give some inner thigh work here, just mobilizing, shifting the weight left and right. And then bring the arms in. Don't go down too low, too quickly. We're just getting loosened off. You're sort of aiming for your ankle. Rotating the upper body. And then come up, give me some Frankenstein. So if you haven't done these before, you might have done them with me in the summer. Just taking the foot up <coughs> and walk it forward while you're doing it. And then take it diagonal. And then into knee hugs and quad stretch. So just on one foot, bring that knee up, squeeze it right in, take it round, step forward, come up, squeeze in, hold that balance, a couple more of these. I always do these before my runs down the street outside, looking a bit silly. Okay, pigeon, yeah, bring that knee up, grab it, get the ankle, bring it across in line with the hip. Stand up really tall, just open out the hips. Step forward, knee up, grab the ankle, sit up nice and tall, don't slouch. Repeat, work out which foot's wobblier. And the other. Okay, one more. Right, okay. Next one we'll do is the hamstring walk with the three foot position. So you're gonna stand with your toes out, 
like Charlie Chaplin, hinge over, see how close you get to the floor, come back up, take the feet parallel, hinge, come back up, pigeon toed, hinge, and come up, back to Charlie Chaplin. Each time you go down, you're probably fine, you just loosen off a little bit more. Straight feet, toes in, toes out, straight, a couple more, toes in. Okay, cool. We'll do the walking rotation. We bring your knee up, grab hold of it, twist round, look down the arm, step forward. A nice T spine rotation. Again, we're firing up those little muscles in your feet while we're warming up because you're on one leg. And keep working it through. One more. Okay, right. Upper body, arms, big circles. Just loosen off. One forward, one back. Get them going. And change. And get your coordination. Okay, chest openers. Keep breathing deeply, take it on the diagonal. Change sides. And give me some shoulder rolls. Forward and back. Take it out, come to the foot. Good ankle rolls all the way around. Make sure that ankle is free. And the other one, and then some knees. You can Bend down, touch the floor if you want, or you can just extend the leg out to get movement through the knee joint. Okay, right, grab a quick drink. Now we are going to go 30 seconds on each exercise. This is a heart rate raiser. We've got high knees. So hands up here, bring those knees up, 30 seconds. Power jacks. Just turn that angle down a tad. So we're coming down and together like that. Then we move straight into mountain climbers. So press up position on the floor, everything braced, bum low, and just pulling those knees in without sticking your bum in the air. So nice and braced while we do that one. Weight and punches if you want to punch with some weights in your hand, you can. We're just going to get upper body really mobile. And then we've got squat thrusts, same position as mountain climbers with both feet coming in and out on that one. Right, okay, so it is 30 seconds on each of these. Okay, make sure you've got clear floor. Get ready, high knees, let's go. Get those knees right up. And get your hands up, posture tall. It's just 30 seconds of these. Got 15 left. Pull those knees up. Posture up. We've got power jacks next. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Down, together. So bend the knees, soft landing. The miracle of all going to talk all the way through this. Feel my thighs working. Ten seconds into mountain climbers. Five, four, three, two, one, straight down. Press up position, let's go. Strong core, bring that knee towards the chest. Keeping that flat position. Getting your core fired up as well. Keep working. Ah. 10 seconds, do we got some punching? Five, four, three, two, one. On your feet, get the arms going. Punch it out. If you've got weights, you can hold them 
you know, two, two kilos. Make it harder on the second round if you want. Just keep punching nice and quick. 10 seconds, back down for squat thrust. You know, squat thrust and stand up. Three, two, one. Back in that brace position. Jump in up, jump in, come up. Keep it low. Make sure we've got no saggy backs as you jump back. Oh, 10 seconds. And then we're going again. Straight into it with high knees. Three, two, one. Let's go. One more round. Get really warm. Oh. I think my knees are a little bit lower on this round. Get those knees up. 15 seconds. Always think about your posture. Be tall. Projects coming up. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. You need a breather after this. If you don't want to jump, you can slide step. 15 seconds into those mountain climbers. Oof, nearly there. Five seconds. Three, two, one, down you go. Strong position. Pull the knee towards the chest, keeping low. Seconds. Keep working. Five, four, three, two, one. Up you come. Oof, punch out. Weights if you want in your hand. Use your core, keep it strong. Belly in. 15 seconds. We can finish off with squat thrust, and that will be you a lot warmed up and hopefully sweating already. Three, two, one, down we go. Strong position, jump in, up tall. Oh, last little bit, you've got 15 seconds. Keep working it through. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold on. Oh. Yeah, heart rate's up. That's warmed me up. Okay, just catch your breath, grab a drink. Next block. We're going. Five exercises. 40 seconds of work, 10 seconds sort of recovery, but get ready for the next exercise. So we got squats. So pick a weight, heavier weight you got. I can't currently hold anything in my left hand, so I'm gonna have to use really light weights not to aggravate it. So squat position, feet just round shoulder width apart, toes where they're comfy. We're going to come down, keeping that chest up and come up. But I want you to go down slowly and then drive up. Oh, we're going in five. Get ready. You can hold your weights here or up here. I'm just holding it here because of this elbow. Let's go. Down, down, push. Down, down and drive up. Powerfully up. Keep that chest up. Push the knees out. You can use a hold a kettlebell if you want. All weights. Halfway. Drive up. Two counts down. One up. Push those knees out. Keep that alignment. Nearly there. What time for one more? And round up. And rest. 
Okay, 10 seconds. What have we got? Press ups. Oh, right, on the floor or elevated. I'm gonna have to just show you one and then bow out because of the elbow. So brace, quads tight, glutes tight. Elbows coming back slightly, not out to the side. Okay, get ready, let's go. 40 seconds of press ups. Down and up. If you can't do them on the floor properly, then raise yourself up either on the edge of the sofa or the table, just so you can get that full range of movement through the chest, all the way down and up. So make sure those quads are braced, glutes are braced, core is braced, over halfway, keep it going. Keep working, nearly there, 10 more seconds. Then you're gonna come back upon your feet and we're going into lunges. Get ready in five, four, three, two and one on your feet. Okay, grab dumbbells by your side or kettlebells. We're gonna be in split lunge position and we're gonna dip and come up and do halfway on each leg. Okay, into position. Put your shoulders over your hips. Three, two, one, let's go. Down and up. Keeping that good posture. So either weight's held here, or if you're on your kettlebell, you can hold it at your chest. The lower you go, the harder it's gonna feel. Keep working. I'm gonna switch legs at halfway. So you feel that burning through the legs. And switch straight away. Keep it going, down and up. Have a little look at what your front knee's doing. Is it tracking straight or have you got a wobble going on? Just be aware of it. Keep pumping them out, nearly there. And five, four, three, two, one. Cool, right. We're going press up position now with a row. So just demo it with the light weights. So we're braced in this position. The feet can be a little bit wider, so you've got balance. And you're gonna pull up and pull up, keeping that nice braced position, trying not to twist. Okay, everybody into position, pick a weight that you can handle. Get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Row it up, keeping that core working. Don't just let your tummy muscles sag down, draw that belly button into the spine, pull that weight up, squeeze the shoulder blade back. Keep it going. All the way to the end, well over halfway. Keep working, keep that core strong from that brace position. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Right on your feet. Two, reverse lunge into a bicep curl next. So anchor the shoulders down, a weight in your hand that you can curl. You're going to step back down, curl, come up. Reverse lunge, keep the posture up and change. Get ready. Let's go on my timer, going in five, four, three, two, one, reverse lunge down, squeeze it up in a curl, push back up, step back, lower and curl. Keep that chest up, don't lean forward, everything is stacked, so shoulders are over your hips. Curl, and up. Straight down. Nearly there. Keep it going. This is the fifth exercise. And then we're going back to the beginning and you're straight into those squats again. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, grab a quick drink. Going back to squats. Hmm. 40 seconds on. Okay, anchor the shoulders down, brace through the core, squats down for two and then power up. Three, two, one, let's go. Down, down, drive up. Push those knees out and up. Okay, 
Think about your form all the time. Drive up, powerful. Maybe halfway. Last little bit coming up. You've got 10 seconds. Keep it going. Drive up. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, back into press ups. Hands about under your shoulders. Down you go. I'm not doing this one because of this elbow. Three, two, one. Let's go. Press ups. Non stop as low as you can. Make sure those elbows come back 45 degree angle. You're not just pushing them out to the side. Brace your quads, squeeze your glutes, engage your core, keep it all nice and solid. Keep working. Pull away. Over halfway now, keep pushing them up. Breathe out as you push up. Nearly there. Another 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and up you come. We're going into lunge dips. So grab your weight. If it was too light last time, rank it up a little bit. Let's get a heavier one. Split stance, chest is up, shoulders are back and down. Get ready, three, two, one, let's go. Dip, drive up. Oh, good clip through my knee then. Well done, keep it going. Let's walk up halfway. Nearly there. Five, four, three, two, one, switch. Straight down on the other leg. Try and get right down. Dip that knee down, push it up. Press ups with your row after this. Keep it going, nearly that. My legs are burdened, I haven't even got heavy weights in my hands. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Weights that you can row, so down into press up position, stack that body nice and solid, shoulders are back. We're going to row those weights, get ready. Three, two, one, and pull. Try not to rock the body, keep that core working. Quads are strong, glutes are tight. Keep working, pull that row right up, drive the elbow back, over halfway, stay strong, last bit, and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, Whew. well done, on your feet, Reverse lunge to row. I've got to put my fan on. The world's getting so hot. Oh, that's better. Okay. Okay, so stepping it back. Reverse lunge into bicep curl. Three, two, one, let's go. Reverse curl. Change legs. Keep that posture nice and strong. Shoulders back. Why up. Keep it going. <sighs> Nearly that. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Oh, end of that round. Right, grab a drink before we move on. So round three, up in the ante a little bit, a little bit more plyometrics in. So you've got your band, you want to have your band around your ankles because we're going to do jumping jacks, keeping low with band, band around the ankle. Then we go into 
Commando press up on the forearms, pushing up. Uh, or reverse lunge with a hop. So instead of just stepping back, you're going to come down and drive up. So check what's above your head before you do any jumping. So you do halfway on one leg and then halfway on the other, putting a hop in. Then we've got some burpees. So you can either do normal burpee, hands down, jump back, jump in, jump up, or you can put press up in the middle of it. I'll leave that up to you. I'm not going to be doing a press up, but you can. Then we've got squat jumps, powering up, down and power up, or down onto your toes, depending on how you're feeling. So on this one, again, we're doing 40 seconds. So grab your bands, pop them around the ankles. Just tilt that down so you can see my feet. So choose your band that's going to give you some good resistance. So we're going to stay low and we're going to jump out and in, pushing out against that resistance for 40 seconds. So get ready. We're going in 10. As soon as you can't see my head. Okay, 40 seconds, banded jump squat. Three, two, one, let's go. Out and in. The lower you go, the harder it's going to be. Keep the resistance on. Don't bring the feet together and lose the resistance. Keep it on. Pushing out. Nice and low. Core is engaged. My back is flat. Out and in. We're halfway. Lights are on fire. Keep it going. You can speed it up if you want to. You've got loads of energy. Make it faster, up to you. Oh, nearly there. I'm fine now. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done, band off. Mats out. Put your commando press up. So, press up position, but we're coming onto the forearms, driving up. 20 seconds on each side, and so then you'll switch. Go down on the other one and drive up. So the important thing is to keep the form on this. You don't see any bums stuck in the air. Oh, right, getting ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Forearm, forearm, power it up. Give it a good press up. Keeping that body strong, core braced. Keep pushing. I'll tell you when to change arms and push up on the other side. Get ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Up on the other side. This is my weak side. Push. Keep going. All the way to the end, no giving in. Keep driving it up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, on your feet, what have we got next? Move, reverse lunge with the knee drive. So make sure you've got room to jump. So we're gonna go back, arm is forward. The leg is back and then power up, down, hop. So really try and get some upward movement on these. I'll give you a halfway to change legs. Get ready, three, two, one, and down, up. Push through the toes, drive up, straight down. If you're struggling to hop, just push up onto the toe and back down. Get ready to switch. Three, two, one, switch. Okay, and go. Reverse lunge, drive up. Keep the balance. Hoof, turn. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, it's got me well out of breath, that one. Okay, burpees. 
everybody's favorite. So we're coming up, hands down, jump back, not jump back and sink. So keep the position in, up. Or when you're down there, put press up in. Okay, five seconds. Let's get this over and done with. Three, two, one, down we go. Power it up, explode up. Think about your posture. Put the press up in if you want to. Halfway. You can do it faster than me if you want. Make sure they're quality. Oh, nearly there. Oof. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, God. Heart rate up. Okay, got squat jumps. So if you want to add a weight in, you can. The main thing is that you really drive up off the floor. Let's go. Three, two, one. Down, power. Sink back down, soft knees as you land. Hold on. Power it up, really good power. Up. Don't headbutt you like things. When you're just in front of me, keep going. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, well. Okay, a bit of recovery. One round done. We can do another round. We're going to do it on 30 seconds. You can move a bit faster. Okay, get some water. Get the heart rate down a little bit. I can't be registering right. Can't be in zone one, surely. Ooh. Okay, so get those bands on around the ankles. If it was too easy on the band you chose last time, whack it up a level, make it harder. If you want to make it really hard, you can put it under your instep if you want, rather than your ankle. Okay. Whoa. Getting ready. Just 30 seconds on this one. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Stay low. Push that band out. Fifteen seconds. Drive it out. Strong legs, strong glutes. Stay low. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Band off. Down on the mat. Commando press ups. 15 seconds on each arm. Down you go. Into position. Stack everything strong. 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Down, down. Up, up. Nice and strong. Core engaged. Glutes tight. Quads tight. No cheating, give it a good push up. Get ready to switch sides. Three, two, one, and switch. Oh, so much harder on my left. Stupid elbow. Keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah. Oh. Reverse lunge to knee drive. <sighs> Dripping. Get ready. On your feet. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Lunge, power it up. Drive up. Use the arms, pull those elbows back. Five. Four, three, 
two, one, change. On forward leg back and go. Doesn't work if you've got the arms going the wrong way. Really awkward. So drive it back. Nearly there. Last little bit. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah. Oh God. Burpees. Only 30 seconds of burpees, that's it. Oh. Okay, five seconds. Make them hard. Three, two, one, let's go. Big jumps. Fifteen seconds, keep working. Do not quit. I know they're horrible. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh God, squat jumps next, oh, last 30 seconds, you get to lie down, got abs after this, go, five, four, three, two, one, let's go, power, one, big jumps, powerful, explode up, you're halfway, come on, last little bit, then we can have a breather. 10 seconds. Make them count. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, God. Oh, that was quite hideous. Okay. Calm it down. We're going to go down on the mat next. Oh. So, have your um, kettlebell handy or some weights if you want to increase intensity to this. It's all core work. We're going to do 30 seconds on each exercise. Make sure you can see me. Let's pull that forward. Oh. A bit of a tilt going on. There we go, that's better. Right, first one on your backs, hands over your belly, let it relax, draw that belly button down to the spine, flatten the back into the floor, and brace it. Don't hold your breath, one leg up, other leg up. So from here, head and shoulders are coming up, and you're still braced. And you're going to slide those feet forward a little bit until you really feel that resistance in the core. We're going to hold it there and then we're going to do mini crunches holding this position for 30 seconds. Just get my clock where I can see it. <sighs> right. Okay. So into position, brace core, get your feet where they need to be, press the lower back into the floor. Let's go. Breathing out on the up. It's not about the speed of doing these, it's about doing it slowly, making sure that you stay braced. You're exhaling as you come up. I am dripping. Oh. Keep the core strong, nearly there. Five, four, three, two, one. Hug the knees in. Bit of recovery. Next exercise is a sit up. And you're coming up. We're taking across to this knee. This knee's going to come up, back down. So twist and back down. Twist and back down. Same leg. 30 seconds. Getting ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. One. <sighs> Make them work. Keep strong. We've got 15 seconds. Ten. 
Don't stop, get, get them out. Five seconds. Work hard. And rest. Ah. Okay, we've got the same on the right leg now. You're going to come up, rotate to the right. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Up, rotate. Well, keep working. Well over halfway. Last little bit, turn. Five, four, two, one more. One. Well done. Crikey, oh. dripping. Okay, Spider Man's next. Again, we're going to be working the upper body as well as the core. So we're going to do 30 seconds of Spider Man's. So in that braced full plank position, but I want you to go Spider Man, Spider Man change. So two on each leg, trying to keep your body as flat and straight as possible. Okay, 30 seconds. So nice and strong. Three, two, one, go. One, two, change. One, two, change. Hold strong. Belly button pulled in. Knees coming out to the side. Keep working. Starting to burn now. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, knees down, take your bum back to your heels. Oh, a little bit of a back stretch before we go on to some reaches, sit-ups to reaches. So if you want to hold a weight, you can for this. Oh, okay, so you're going to come from a sit-up to here, not to here. So keep the tension on, stretch, back down, curl up, extend, and back down. 30 seconds, going in five, four, three, two, one. And sit up, reach, back down. Stretch, back down. Keep going. Nearly there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oof, these out. Okay, plank with a toe lift. So if you want to make this harder, band round the ankles. Plank position. Okay, get stacked, you can use your glutes and you're just gonna lift and lower, keeping the hips stable, 30 seconds. You don't have to use a band if you don't want to. Okay, so just give you a minute just to get your bands on. Get into that nice stacked plank position, bums low, core tight, ready, and extend, lift. Lift, one at a time, slowly. Keep those shoulders braced back, belly button pulled in. Squeeze your glute as you lift that foot off the floor against the band. Oh, 15 seconds. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Knees down. Again, just take the bum back. Oof. Okay, hand off. We are going. Legs in the air. You've got to control this one. So we're going to go reach, hands down, extend. Do not extend all the way to the floor if you can't hold your core in place. So we don't want lower backs arching like that. We've got to keep that back into the floor. We're going to do 30 seconds. 
You're going to reach up, come down, control as far as you want to, bring it back and reach. All the time keeping that core braced. Okay, three, two, one, and reach. Brace, lower, bring it back, and go again. So go as far as you can control, don't overdo it. You don't want that lower back coming up off the floor. Nearly there, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. The knees in. Oh, we're getting there. What have we got next? Side lying crunch. Oh, right. Line the sides. Top arm is out in front of you. Hips are stacked. We're going to crunch up. So we're going to come up here, sort of chest coming towards the knee, working into these obliques. Okay, three, two, one, and lift. One, two, have your hands here if you want. Three, like that. Four, four out. Five, six, seven. Lifting, but not pressing down on that top arm. Use your core, halfway, keep going. Four, five, four, three, two, one, and side, straight into it. So arm out, resting here, get ready, three, two, one, and crunch. Do not press on this, this left arm. Feel that in my obliques under my ribs. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> okay, last one. One more to go, then we stretch. We've got bike abs, super slow. So into that first position we did with the tabletop. Get those legs up, brace through the core, hands by the ears, bring the shoulders just off the ground, then you're going to extend the heel forward, take the elbow across to the knee, really slow. Do not rush it, I don't want you to use momentum. Three, two, one, and go. Slower the better. Lift the cross, draw the belly button down. Oh, this is the last one. And we'll do some stretching, which is what I need today. Oh, for sure. Nearly there. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. Hug your knees to your chest. Just hold it there. Now rock side to side. And turn that fan off. Okay. Right, extend the legs straight out and the arms over the head. And stretch as far as you can over your head. Lift your ribs away from your hips. Really long, push your feet away. Big stretch. Okay, bring your right knee up, grab it with your left hand and take it across the body and look down the length of your right arm, trying to keep the shoulder on the floor on the right. Let the hips relax. <sighs> Nearly done. So you can get a little bit further once everything's relaxed. And when you're ready, just bring it back to centre, realign. 
bring your left knee up and go across to your right with it. <sighs> Relax the hips. Holding it there, just get as much out the stretch as you can. Okay, and bring it back over. Knees bent, right foot on left knee, bring it into your chest. Glute stretch, and try and keep the hips on the floor. And then switch over, left foot on right knee, bring it in, notice which side's tighter. That's where you need to put some focus. You can change position slightly, just ease the knee out, find where that point of stretch is. And then release it down. If you've got your band handy, this will just help you. You can loop it over your foot. Let's just take that foot up. Hamstring stretch. Try and keep those hips on the floor. Not flexible at all. Very tight. Just holding it there. And then switch over to the side, take it up. A nice stretch at the back of the leg. Ooh, tend up. Holding it there. And then bring it down, come up, and sit right up on your bum, bring the soles of your feet together, and try and sit up tall, and just ease those knees down, sitting up nice and tall. Let the hips relax. And then bring those knees up. Extend your left leg out. Take your right foot onto the outside of your left knee. Sitting up tall and just rotate round, pulling on the knee, looking over your shoulder. Holding it there, keep up tall, and then slowly back, change sides, and come round. Back to centre, onto your hands and knees, head up, belly down, cat stretch. So pull those shoulder blades down and back. And then pull everything up and under. And then reverse it. Do this a couple of times. And then back to neutral, toes under and just push back. You have a stretch up through the calf muscles. Probably into the backs of the knees, up to the buttocks, and then just walk your feet out, and then walk your hands back towards your feet and just hang down. I actually touch the floor today, that's an improvement. Okay, coming up slowly, 
We're going to go into hip flexor stretch. So step forward, come up on the back toe. Shoulders stay over hips. I'm going to rotate that pelvis under. And then slide forward. So you get a nice stretch up the front of the hip. Important to remember to stretch this one out. It gets neglected. It affects your running, your range of movement. Let's tighten up on the bike a lot. Change legs, back on the other toe, dip that knee, rotate under with the pelvis and then slide forward. Holding it there. And then come up, let's have a quad stretch. So onto one leg, make sure the knee's soft, not locked out, grab the heel. Again, push your hip forward. Take that leg back if you want. Extend that stretch out. And then change sides. Okay, we'll go tricep stretch. If you want, you can use a towel for this. You can take it round and just pull down. Just pop that camera angle up. Or you can grab your hands behind your back. So either do it like that or get hold of the hands, depending on your flexibility. Holding that there. Get my stretch through the front of my shoulder as well. It's quite tight. And change sides. So if you can reach, get hold of the fingertips. If not, just use your towel to help you. And down, arms in front. Walk shoulder blades forward. Keep the shoulders down. Opening out the back. And then we'll have one out in front. Squeeze across. Then up to let your shoulders hitch up. Stretch your deltoids round into your back. And change sides. Nearly done. Okay, put all the shoulders out to finish. And you're all done. Time for food. Make sure you get your food in before 8.30 if you're on that um, training session in the morning. And just hit stock on this.